Okay, so let's, uh, before we start to write some commands and see how we can query the database and so on, so on, let's try to understand what is a database. So let's imagine an application like uh, Amazon or uh, e-commerce application or uh, uh, IMDB, Internet Movie Database, any site or any web application or desktop application or mobile application has data in it. Without data, you can't have a proper application. And every data uh, needs to be persisted. We need to have this data uh, persisted even if the user closes the website or uh, closes the mobile application or even if our server crashes. So if we take the data and put it in our application, in our code base, it wouldn't be very much helpful because, for example, if our server crashes, we lose all the data. So naturally, you want all the data to be in an external source, not in your web application or desktop application and so on. And here comes databases. So what is basically a database? Database is a collection of data. Very simple. Imagine Microsoft Excel, you have uh, uh, a lot of um, files there and you can create tables. Database is like a very advanced Microsoft Excel, but we can't compare those two, but it's only for you, for you to grasp what the database is. So I have started my uh, PG admin for graphical user interface. I recommend that you start also. Uh, now we have to understand what is this graphical user interface interface and what is PG admin because PG admin is a type of uh, database database in a general form is a collection of data but we are going to work in PG admin there are two types of uh, database relational database and non-relational database it, you don't need to understand now what is the difference between those two. Let's just uh, understand the simple things. PG admin is a type of uh, relational database that we are going to work on because it's very fast to install. It's very easy to understand and uh, it's very lightweight. So uh, database, uh, PG admin database, it's basically a server. A server that runs in the background. For example, when we installed the uh, Postgres uh, uh, database, it automatically uh, started. For example, if I type start and type services, and I will find Postgres SQL, we see here that on my uh, uh, screen, I have this uh, server running, status running. And this is the real database that uh, the, the application and it runs in the background a service a server is something that runs in the background and it runs until it stops crashes or we can stop it manually but uh, it's very hard to to query database because we can use command line tool but uh, for our convenience we, we have this uh, graphical user interface that is called PG admin. There are a lot of other gra graphical user interfaces, but it's just for our convenience. This uh, application connects to the server and takes data from that specific server and, uh, and uh, reads them and displays them on our uh, screen for uh, us to be to easily understand. So, for example, I will go to my schema curse and I will go to databases. I have two databases, Edward and Postgres. I'm going to drop this uh, database because I don't think you, uh, you have it. I'm going to leave only the Postgres database and I'm going to expand this. I'm going to go to schemas, public and tables. Why do, did I go here? Because to understand what is a database, as I said, database is a collection of data. And the primary unit of a database, it's a table. And let me go to film here, and I will uh, uh, right click 
and go to view data and first 100 rows. And this graphical user uh, interface has run this command to our server and our server has returned this information. For example, if I type start and go to CMD and command line tool and I will type PSSQL U Postgres is going to I'm going to connect with command line tool to my server is going to ask for my password for Postgres I'm going to type my password you can type your own password that uh, you put when uh, we configure it and now I'm connecting to to my uh, Postgres database so for example if I run the same command I run select from public film order by film ID ask limit it doesn't matter if you don't understand what uh, this means we just uh, want to see uh, uh, if it works and type semicolon and if I type enter let me type control C and type it again you can see here the same data that I'm having in this graphical user interface but it's much more easily be readable here so that is why we are going to use a graphic user interface but basically application when we, you are coding when you are a program and you are coding on the back end you will connect to the server you will not connect to the graphical user interface this is just for our uh, uh, learning purposes and for administrative purposes and for uh, debugging and okay so I'm going to close this command line tool and then I'm going to go to uh, my uh, table so when we click view edit data first 100 rows it has run this command and this command has uh, went to our server and retrieved this data and what is here here is a table this is a postgres table so a postgres table a database table but a postgres table in our scenario but let's say a database table has two primarily units it has columns like this one and this one and this one that are uh, vertically and rows that are horizontally uh, a single row is a single unit of data so for example let's imagine the uh, website imdb internet movie database and uh, you find there a movie and for example you find this movie academy dinosaur and this is the data that is going to retrieve that application, for example, and uh, display it on the screen. A title, a description, a release year, and some other uh, data. And every row is a specific unit of data. It's just a text. Easy to understand. It's just a text. And uh, this data is, is being saved on the disk. So naturally, if you have a lot of data, you will need more storage on your place where the database is being stored. So every table has rows and columns. What are columns? Columns are uh, every column needs to have two specific things. Needs to have a name, for example, title or film ID or description or release year and so on. And has to have uh, and needs to have um, a data type. Data type means what kind of data we can store in that specific column. For example, here in title, I have character varying and in parentheses, I have 250. What does it mean? Character varying means text, line of, line of characters. I can store in this specific column only text. I cannot store number in this specific column. If I want to store a number, I will get an error. For example, here I have integer. Integer is a whole number. And I, I can only store in this specific column numbers. I cannot store uh, text or other types of data. And we need to uh, declare what kind of uh, column do we, columns do we want when we create a table and what kind of data types those columns will need to have. But we will do this step by step. Now it's, it's just to understand what a database is so it's basically a collection of data and the primary unit of a database are tables and tables are structured in rows and columns and columns needs to have a name and a data type and 
In the context of relational databases, the ones that we are learning, relational database means that the tables can be relate to one another means that this table can be can communicate with another table and so on and so on but we will see this in time for now this is just an overview about the databases so you can see here that we we have a a table called film in english it's movie and this uh, this table uh, has a lot of rows and we have here 15 tables it's just from that file that i gave you so we can easily learn okay so feel free you can uh, try to look on the other tables but uh, doesn't matter we'll we will do this together so now let's try to to see how we are going to learn and uh, what we are going to do next <laughs> 